Stigmata. Sound familiar? Are you a Stevens Grip 4 mallet player frustrated by those ugly, bleeding red dots in the center of your hands? The result of having your inner mallet endlessly pinned to the same spot in the palm. Hi, I'm Todd Meehan, Associate Professor of Percussion at the Baylor School of Music and Vision Lark of Liquid Drum, and I have a solution for you. It's called doing Stevens grip correctly. What? That's right. If you actually play Stevens grip correctly, those unsightly sores in the center of your hands will all but go away. I don't know. I just wish there was a book with words and diagrams that could walk me through it. <sighs> Amazingly, there is. It's called Method of Movement, and it was written by Lee Howard Stevens. Coincidentally, that's where we get the name of the grip. Wait a sec, I have that book, but I always thought it was just a set of 590 exercises that I shred in the practice room until my hands bleed. Ha ha ha, that doesn't surprise me one bit. Turns out the first 38 pages contain one of the most extensive and detailed technique descriptions known to mankind in word and picture form. It's true. You know, as we change intervals in Stevens grip, that energetic inner mallet should constantly be on the move inside the hand. In fact, it rarely, if ever, sits in one place for any length of time. That is, unless you play music that only uses the interval of a fifth. Ha! Ah, but who writes music like that? Wait, is this one of those things that's true for concert season, but different rules apply? during marching season? Hmm, let me go ahead and check that for you. Nope. Wow, I can't wait to get started. Every time I eat lunch after I practice, I get blood all over my sandwich crusts. Ha ha ha, that's not right. So, does this also work on those huge calluses I have protruding from behind my second knuckle on my middle finger? <laughs> those things are disgusting. Watch your mouth. Oh. Watch. Your. Mouth. Sorry, I didn't- The nasty knuckle is the only way to know you're in the presence of a marimba warrior. Wow. I didn't know it had a name. Yuck. Weird. Mr. Marimba infomercial guy, do you have a nasty knuckle? I used to, son. I used to. That was a long time ago.